Hi everyone, today in this video I'll explain one simple rule to save your application to not throw an exception or not unavailable for the user. So how you can restrict this using one validation rule which will change your life if you are not using this out. So let's get started. So I have created a fresh installation of Laravel where I have added this simple form uh, with the default Laravel database uh, stuff and created a new column items which contain a uh, new table which uh, which name is items containing this name column right so I have defined this as string so if I go to this migration file so I have defined this string name and executed this migration and it's creating created the var car or someone also described this as var char which length is 255 right so how you can save your application to not throw an exception when the length is higher than 255 so here i'm basically submitting this uh, uh, through this uh, route i have prepared the two simple route which contain the first one is opening the welcome page and then this one is saving the item in the database so here i'm going to save this uh, like uh, uh, sun sun slick okay i'm not advertising the sunslick so just click on this submit and yes it's returning done and if i go ahead and give it a refresh and yes it's saved successfully without any exception right but what if i will enter the uh, higher length uh, than this 255 so what will happen so this length is 255 so here i have opened this code beautify.org or simply you can say that str length counter so here i have entered the 255 character length string so just copy this and pass this here and click on this submit and yes it's throwing the exception uh, that this column is truncated and also exposing the information right your database so table name your column names and so on things and your controller logic too now your question is that we can uh, we will disable this in the production so let me do this here dot env file here you can make this turned off and make this to production save this one and submit this request again so now it's throwing the 500 server error right so it's still this application is unavailable for the user uh, you can save this to not unavailable and not throw an exception with the one validation rule. So now uh, simply add this validation rule. Here I'm going to add this into the same controller. You can also create the form request to validate and I'm going to add this here uh, name. And by the way, you can uh, not add these things here in the pipe sign like this string and so on things add them into the array symbol because in this way you can add your custom rules custom php classes in the validation rule later on if you want to add so here i'm going to add the required and then uh, string so this should be a string and then here you can define your custom uh, rule something like this right so this is the way why you can you should define this in the array uh, uh syntax not the pipe anyway this is not about the topic uh how we can uh, validate the maximum rule so just simply type max and then define your length of string i'm going to add this 255 so now this will not accept the length which is greater than 255 so i'm going to now submit this request again and yes it's saying name field is required i'm going to submit this string again so oh it's, it's turning the required string 255 oh my god i added this name here so let me add this item name which is uh, different right so now just submit this again save and yes now it says that it must not be greater than 255 character so in this way you can save your application to not throw an exception and uh, not unavailable for the user so I hope this video is helpful for you and if you want to uh, support me to shoot more videos like this, subscribe this channel and share your feedback in the comment box. So I'll meet you in the next one. Bye bye.